Hey, I'm Victoria. Be sure to like and subscribe to my channel. So I went to Google um, and typed in wallpapers or whatever kind of wallpaper you're looking for. I downloaded the image that I wanted. No, it's not this one. And that these are the tins that I use um, for the stash jars from the Dollar Tree. This is the image that I did choose. Um, so you're gonna go into Cricut Design Space, select image, <clears throat> upload it, and then you do want to save the file as a print then cut so i'll do that i'll be right back sorry for the long pause my phone was being really slow this morning So right now I'm just looking through the, for my image and I passed it twice. Um, once I, there it goes. I found it, so I uploaded it. Um, there's my background and my image that I'll be using. So I'm going to go to rectangle or go to images, search rectangles, scroll down. So I find the one I need. They have a free one. I don't use that one. You can. Um, and there's the number if you need to search it. Um, I have Cricut Access, so I use this rectangle. So I size the background to 9.25 by 5.9. And then I do the same with the rectangle. 5.25 by 5.9. And I put them behind each other um, so that they're right on top of each other. And then you can go to edit, align, and then I center them just to make sure it's exactly how I want it. And then I go to slice. And that's under, slice is under action. You'll have three. You'll have the background, the corner pieces, and then that left. You'll delete the other two. And then I duplicated um, my background went to shapes got the circle i resized my background um, to fit my circle and you'll see what i'm doing i push that little unlock button so that i can move around the background highlight it sliced it i'm about to slice it excuse me misinformed i aligned it and then i sliced it Give me a few more moments. Um, so you'll take the middle piece out, that's your background, and you'll delete the other two pieces. You don't need them. And duplicate the circle. Well, you will duplicate the circle, excuse me. Um, so now I'm just resizing my image um, to how I want it to fit in my background so now i have the image centered where i want it i'm going to go to images type in savage and they actually have a savage option choose that one i'm going to go to edit change the color to black or whatever color you want i chose black because it fits and then just resize it to for it to fit into the little um circle you might have to adjust your picture. You might have to click that little unlock button on the word to make it bigger or smaller to make it fit. And then you'll do the exact same thing to the, um, to the background, the bigger background for the tray. And then what I also have done, and you'll probably see me do this, is once I complete the um, circle, and how I want it, I'm going to duplicate it. And then I'm going to size it to what I want. So my tops to my tens are three inches. So I'm going to make it three inches once I complete that. And then I'm going to duplicate it and make it 
um, 5.3 inches for the ashtrays that I do. And you'll see me do all of that. Please, please, once it's complete, make sure you flatten your image. Otherwise, when you print and cut, it's going to be all, it's not going to do it right. It's going to cut your image out of that background, and you don't want to do that. And this is where I flatten the image. Go to action, make sure it's highlighted, go to flatten. And then you can duplicate it to size it however you want. So I'm going to let the rest of the video play. Um, you can watch and see what I'm doing. It's pretty self-explanatory if you have used Cricut Design Space. Um, sorry about the notifications. Um, and yeah, if you have any questions, please let me know. I will do my best to answer them. I'm a full-time mom. I work, so... I will get back as soon as I can. I would appreciate any feedback on what I can improve on or maybe what you'd like to see that I can help with. And I will also likely be doing a short video on how I do my trays. Um, please make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. All right. Peace.